what is up you guys it is your boy matthew coming at you once again with another video and today i'm at the top of the bc parking garage bringing you my next video you're probably wondering what am i doing on top of the parking garage well first let's flip the camera around and i'll show you the view first off before we begin can we just look at that view amazing absolutely beautiful so yeah, with that being said, let's get into the topic of today's video, which is my recent outfit pickups. So excuse the hair, but um, I need a haircut. But the first order of business, the Ikea and Virgil Abloh Margarad collaboration. Um, when this collaboration released, I saw this image. And uh, so these two images that'll flash on screen for you. So with that being said, um, let's get into the first two items, which is the nine gallon sculpture bag. I purchased two of them, one to actually use and one to put on display. Um, the one I've been using, uh, I've been using for three weeks now. I have a crap ton of stuff of it in it i take it to work and put everything in there um no water has bothered it it hasn't torn anywhere and anything like that so quick cut scene this is the two sculpture bags the one i have on display um just for a reference so i don't have to show you guys this thing um this was the tag the marker rod tag i don't know which way it is this way marker rod tag that was attached there but let's get into the one i use for personal so this one I wrote on, it says for use and Matthew Katijo on there. Sculpture bag, well sculpture on that side. You do have IKEA Creation of Virgil Ablo for carrying Albert Sweden. Um, copyright 2019. But really I wanted to show you guys um, the bag and what I have in it. I, have, I use this as a daily work bag. Um, and you can see the bag creases and all that stuff. I'll put a picture of me just throwing it in the back seat of my car but the structural integrity is very good. Here you see some crazy creasing because I kick it sometimes, but it does hold all my items and hasn't torn. So what I have inside are my, uh, let's see, my shin guards. I have a Lululemon bag featuring my work clothes. I have a, another work bag with my gloves on the inside. I have a water bottle, a can of Axe, um, my wraps, and a receipt. Really great quality for 20 bucks, and I can't really go wrong with that at all. It's super functional, as I am a big fan of the Blue Frock the bag. Moving on to the second item, uh, this picture right here is when I saw it, uh, was when I first saw the item. So pretty much when this picture came out, I was looking for a new pillow, and since then, I got more pillows, but now that I, would ha I had the chance to buy the last one in store, I went ahead and grabbed it. The pillow needed was the Fjallarad 16 by 26. Great quality, I love the little orange tab of course, but my main selling point was that O-ring zipper at the bottom. Moving on to another item that is very Virgil related, the Swedish House Mafia and Virgil Abloh reunion show t-shirt. Um, pretty much this released uh, during Ultra 2018 on March 25th. This was the only day this shirt was available and it was available online as well as at uh, the actual show. Um, this is printed on a really good quality champion blank. The front says Swedish House Mafia on the left with the 032518, which is the date of the show. The back has three circles, one representing each one of the members of Swedish House Mafia. So we have Steve Angelo, you have uh, Ingrosso and Sebastian Ingrosso and you have Axwell, which I'm a huge fan of Swedish House Mafia. Mafia. So this was literally the perfect thing. So when I heard he was doing the collab with them for the merch, I was so hyped. Also, I wish I got this shirt. I had the opportunity to buy it online, but I folded and I didn't. And I'm waiting for that Nike collab, which I probably won't get. Moving on to the footwear pickups. I got two for you guys. The first one is a very amazing sneaker. This is the Adidas SC Premier. The first time I saw the sneaker was on Clay or Sorry Not Fame's Instagram. One of these guys, they're probably the same dudes if I'm being quite honest with you. Um, he posted the Adidas Super Court, which is the OG version of this sneaker. Super minimal, super fire. But this is the SC Premier version. So instead of the perforated three stripes, it has the Adidas tab on the side. Retail on these is 120. I picked them up for $42 and the quality of the leather is insane. I'm on, I've honestly never seen um, like a sneaker with this quality at, this, at that price point. They're super versatile. You can wear them with pants, shorts, anything really. Um, I went a half size down to a size 10. I typically wear a 10 and a half. So that's a little sizing for that fit, for that shoe, sorry. Um, moving on to the next item, it is a pair of Sweet Cokes. Um, this is the Moto VS, I believe. This is actually a sample pair of Sweet Cokes. Retail on these should be about 230. I paid 70 bucks for these, 
at my local Century 21 store. They had a bunch of samples of Sweet Cokes for some reason, um, as they do import from other places to get their items for sale. But I had the sample tags on here, which ha um, which told me they were samples pretty much. And I looked them up and this is the closest one I could find to this actual model. So this is definitely a sample. They had a bunch of other ones. I'll leave pictures and videos on screen as well. Um, like I said, I wear a size 10 and a half and surprisingly I got these in a size nine and they fit me. They were the only motos there. So I went ahead and grabbed them. And it is a little bit colder in Florida now. So I would wear them now with a little fur on the inside with some socks, keep it nice and simple. Finally, guys, it's actually a tech pickup. Something for me being a college student is super, super clutch. Is the uh, Microsoft Surface Go. I was about to say Nike. The Microsoft Surface Go, one of the greatest um, compact tablet laptops on the planet right now that's on a budget. I'm gonna go more into detail on this in one of my upcoming tech videos for college students. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the little pickups today. This will be the video for you guys. Next time you see me, I'll probably have a better haircut. Who knows? But until the next time we meet face to face, guys, it's been your boy, Matthew Katijo, coming from this beautiful view at Broward College. It's been your boy, take it easy, stay safe. Until next time we meet, take it easy, stay safe. I just said that, see you guys, peace.